Okay, in this video, I'm going to fire up the D-Link Movie Night streaming media player for the very first time. Now, this device is similar to a Roku device in that it allows you to stream media, such as Netflix, to your television set. This device was $48 at Walmart. So I'm going to plug it in for the very first time, and let's see what happens. We get the D-Link splash screen here. Okay, I put an edit in there to edit out the home wireless network information that I had to enter in so that this device can actually stream media from the internet. And this is the interface on the device here. The first thing that's up front is Vudu HD Movies. Then there's Netflix, YouTube, My D-Link, Pandora, and Picasa. Let me look at My D-Link here. Okay, My D-Link apparently is a feature from D-Link where you can actually monitor your house when you're not at your house. So basically you set up cameras around your house and you're able to stream the camera feed to wherever you're at. And I think it works with iOS and probably Android devices. I don't have My D-Link and I probably am not going to get it. So let's back out of this and let's check the YouTube interface on this device. Okay, this is a different YouTube interface than I've ever seen before. On the left-hand side, you have the option to discover channels, you can do a search. You can go to My YouTube if you want to sign into your YouTube account. And you also have a featured video selection here. So let me go to search here. And let me enter in Tech Harvest, my channel. Now, I don't know if you're noticing this, but the alphabet over there is in alphabetical order. It's not like a QWERTY keyboard on the left-hand side of the screen there. But when you actually click on a letter, it gives you recommendations around that letter that are probably letters that commonly follow the letter that you just picked. So in other words, it gives me a cross there. My last letter was H, and as you would expect, G would be to the left of it. But no, in this recommendation here, A is to the left of it, N is to the top of it, and O is to the bottom of it. So those are probably common letters that follow H. So that's a nice little feature, cutting down on the time where you actually have to do a hunt and peck on an on-screen keyboard like this instead of having an actual keyboard. So let me finish typing out my tech harvest here. Now, I wouldn't necessarily want to be doing this on a regular basis because the hunting and pecking for the letters is kind of slow, but it is nice to have the feature on the device in case you want to watch YouTube videos on it. So let me pull up one of my videos here. Appropriately, the Roku 2 versus Roku video. And let me click on that and see how it plays. There we go, that's the actual Roku device and the Roku 2 device. That's a video I did. Video, if you want to check it out, check out my channel. So as you can see there, let me uh, pause it. As you can see, the movement is very fluid, which is nice to see. And it's pretty nice and clear. So let me hit the home button on the remote, which is right here. And let's check out the Netflix interface. Okay, it looks like it's going to be the regular Netflix interface that you might have on a boxy box or a Google TV or a WD TV live device. 
So I won't sign in right now. I'll do that at a later time. Let me hit the home button again and let's check out the Voodoo interface. Okay, looks like the typical Voodoo interface that you would find on a whole host of streaming devices. Let me go over to Browse. And here is the full selection of Voodoo titles that you can rent or purchase. Let me hit the home button again. Now the next two selections here are Pandora, which I probably wouldn't use, but it's nice to know that you could have internet radio on your home entertainment system. And let's see, welcome to Pandora. To experience free personalized radio playing only the music you love, you will need to activate Pandora on this device. Please select Activate Pandora below. Let me click on that. Okay, I didn't have a Pandora account, so I'll save that for another time. Let me go over to Picasa here. And this will allow you to view photos on this device, which is pretty nice if you have a Picasa account. That way you can look at your pictures on the biggest screen in your house, your television set. So let me hit the home button here. Now one thing I really like about this device is that it actually has some dedicated buttons on the bottom. You have a Voodoo button, a Netflix button, a Pandora button, and a YouTube button. So let's hit the Netflix button. And as you can see, it will launch straight into Netflix. Now from Netflix, I'm going to hit the Voodoo button, and it should jump straight into Voodoo. There you go. And that's a good way to avoid having to jump back to the home screen all the time. I could do the same thing with YouTube and Pandora, but I think you get the idea. Let me hit the home button again. So that's the D-Link Movie Night streaming media player. As you can see, it doesn't give you as many options as a Roku device. It's about $2 less expensive than a Roku, but a Roku does offer you many more options as far as channels and apps that you can use on the device. But if you're just looking for a Netflix streamer that you can actually rent movies or buy movies on through Vudu, and maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos, this might be a great option for you. For $50, you really can't go wrong. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. As always, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.